when we look at your financial journey, what we have to discuss is what market timing really looks like. Now, Adam, when we say market timing, people are going, oh my, somebody thinks they can time the market. That's not what we're talking about. No, what is none. it? What's no, market timing you know, I, in this case? In this case, I go to the word luck, and there's no way around it. Luck is going to be a part. Uh, you and I are big readers, and one of the, uh, I know, because we've talked about it so many times, uh, the books that we've enjoyed many that uh, more than any others is Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and, and the role that luck played in some of the world's prominent people um, had to do with their situation, where they were planted, when... Not only where, but when they were planted. And that also happens to the investment portfolio. Uh, the results will have to do with your discipline, with your skill. Like it or not, though, it also will have to do with when you start saving and when you start withdrawing. Uh, and, and there's no way around that. You just have to be aware uh, that that is a piece. Uh, but you can draw on lessons from from history and how to manage around uh, when you're dealt the bad hand of uh, poor timing. So it's fair to say that the inverse is really true. If you're beginning to save, you would really like a declining market. If you're beginning to withdraw, you really want an inclining market. Is that fair? Yeah, luck goes both ways. Right. right? Absolutely. You luck can't control when ways. you're born, right? And you can't wait to 30 to save just because you think you're in a bad market, right? Absolutely. And you can't tell your employer at 65, I don't think I'm going to stick around till 70 because things don't look too stable right now. That, that doesn't work for everybody, right? A absolutely. There, there's things you can't control. 